Hey there people, today I wanted to do a quick video on due diligence. Uh, this is something that you got to do whenever you go out prospecting and uh, it's kind of a complicated process but I wanted to do uh, make it a little bit more simple for some of you using the BLM LR2000 and your county recorder's office. So first off, this is a website called Outside Analytics. It's a great website. Uh, if you sign up for a free account, you get a bunch of really cool features. And this is very helpful when it comes to uh, prospecting, uh, camping, hunting, fishing, uh, anything like that. Uh, one of the features on here is that there is a, a public lands uh, feature. This is going to show you where all the BLM land is, and you won't be able to find that on Google Maps. You'll even find National Forest that isn't on Google Maps. Uh, but if we zoom in, you can see that most of Nevada is actually public land. Uh, a lot of Nevada is in this checkerboard system, where the private land and public lands are in a checkerboard. Uh, but I decided to pick a spot to go prospecting, and uh, I actually chose this earlier, or yesterday, before I did the video, and this is a place called uh, Lone Butte, so I set this point on the map. Um, if you want to set a point, you just go to the plus, and then you're going to go ahead and click Create a Point. And then anywhere you click, it's going to give you your longitude and your latitude, your elevation. You can save it for later, uh, whatever. Um, but we're not going to need to do that because we already have a point saved. Uh, some of the cool features of this outside analytics is that we can find out if we're going to have cell coverage. Um, let's say we have T-Mobile. We want to see if there's coverage. Well, there you go. Looks like there's uh, T-Mobile coverage. All right. So we'll go ahead and turn off the cell coverage map. Uh, you can also use these features to find swimming holes, waterfalls, springs, uh, stream flows. Uh, you can find haunting information, wildlife information, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, for the most part, anywhere that's a public land, anywhere that's BLM, you can camp for up to 14 days. So if you're into boondocking and doing free camping, uh, this is a really good tool for you to use as well. Okay, so this is the point that I found yesterday. Um, and if you click on it, you see we got a longitude and latitude. And we can go ahead and take this longitude and latitude and copy it. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into Google Earth Pro, which is a free download. You'll need this as well. And we're going to enter the GPS coordinates. Here we go, there's our point on Google Earth. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little. And we're gonna need to load a PLSS, or Public Land Survey System overlay for the map. Uh, this is a free overlay, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this KML file. And once it's loaded, you're going to go into your places and you're going to select special surveys. All right, so now that we've got that loaded, we can find the information that we need in order to plug this into the BLM LR2000. As you can see, we are in we are in 37 North, Township 37 North, Range 41 East, 
section 34, and we are looking in the southwest quarter. Okay, so now that we have that information, we're going to go ahead and go to the BLM LR2000 website. Now, if you don't know how to use this website, it's going to be very frustrating. Uh, they'll erase everything that you type in if you don't type it in exactly correct. As you can see, there's all kinds of reports available for oil and gas, uh, solar, wind, um, uh, things that we don't really need to know about. What we're looking at is the public mining claim reports, and we're going to run a geo-index report. And oftentimes this will not load, and you'll have to reload it, refresh the page. And then often this will happen the second time. You have to let it finish loading and then refresh it again. And third time's a charm every time. Here we go. Now we're in our geo index report. Now we're in Nevada. In this case, we want to know where all the active and all the pending claims are. Our meridian in Nevada is called Mount Diablo. BLM knows that as 21. And it looks like I don't have numlock on, so we'll, we'll go back and try this again. There we go, 21. Now you have to enter 37 north, 037. What the heck? 21. 21. Sometimes the website is very touchy. But this is all part of the due diligence, and it's your responsibility to do it. So if you enter something wrong, they will erase it and leave you very confused. So 0, 3, 7, 0. North zero four one zero east, and this is in section thirty four zero three four. We're going to go ahead and press OK. After this loads up, we're going to have a list of all the active and pending mining claims that are in this land section. Uh, you're supposed to be able to enter a subdivision here. Ours would be the southwest, and for whatever reason, uh, I always have trouble when I do that. Usually doesn't take this long to load. Go ahead and try it again. Here we go. This is our report of all the claims. Now, there's a lot of websites out there that will do this a lot more user-friendly, but it's not always up to date. These sites are not always up to date, and this is your responsibility as a miner or prospector to run these reports. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few claims out here. The southwest section here, there's quite a few as well. They're all load claims, and they all are owned by Nevada Gold Mines LLC. Um, some of these claims that are active date back to 84. They were all renewed in 2020. Okay, so now we know that there's mining claims. Now we have to find out where are these claims. Uh, luckily here in Humboldt County, Nevada, 
We have access to our recorder's office online. A lot of counties, this will actually entail a trip to the county recorder's office. Um, unfortunately, it only gives us records back to 1996, uh, but I'll show you the records that we have from 96 and forward. Uh, we got to agree to their disclaimer. And we're going to run an advanced search. Uh, this can also be very helpful if you want to get into real estate. You want to see who owns some land. Um, you want to see what people paid for the land. You want to see how often it was sold, etc. Um, so our range, 37 north, 41 east. And I don't know why they did that, but... We're just going to enter it by hand, 41 East, and the section is section 34. And I want to find maps right now. You can also find summaries, parties, etc. So we're going to search. And you'll see we have our proof of labors, the mining map, 96. I'm going to go ahead and click on this mining map. And you can see that it was uh, submitted by Echo Bay Exploration out of Denver, Colorado. I'm going to open up this PDF. And here we are. This is our mining map. This is where all of the claims are. Uh, you can go ahead and print this out. Uh, you can see this is Township 37 here, 36 there. And uh, that's your mining map. If you scroll down, uh, flip this back over for you again. And you can see these are all load claims, and it lists all the information. It says where all of their markings are, and which which subdivisions of which sections and ranges the claims are at. This goes on and on. Um, it is a little bit of a, a pain to, to do all this. And if you just want to do some recreational prospecting and you don't want to go through all this red tape, a really good option is claims clubs. There's national claims clubs. There's local claims clubs. Uh, a really good, good one that gives you access to a lot of claims for a fairly cheap amount of money is the GPAA. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. I'll leave links to all the websites. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I can't guarantee you that I'll know the answer. Uh, but I know that this BLM LR2000 was a bit of a learning curve for myself, so I wanted to try and uh, simplify it. Uh, and I hope this helped you out. All right. Thanks for watching.